Why are you calling it a Christmas tree? Your Be predecessor didn't. Because that's what it is. It's a celebration of the holidays and of Christmas. And it's because that's what I have called it my whole life. And the, the thing with the candles, is that going to have a name too? Yes, it's what people call it. It's going to be a menorah? Right. Not going to be a candelabra? No. Okay. So what happened to political correctness? Well, I think it's politically correct to call something what it is. It's a Christmas tree and it's a menorah. Not a seasonal decoration? No, it is not. <laughs> How are we coming with uh, getting people together for the uh, special? Well, we're working on that. I uh, had staff just in contact with staff again this morning over at the, uh, uh, at the legislature, and uh, they are, from what I understand, uh, working hard trying to get people's agendas and uh, get them in there to do the state's work. It, it seems like, you know, the, the longer we drag this on, trying to find 1631, the, le the, few, the fewer chance we're going to do this next week. Well, it's very obvious that we need to get this done, and we need to get it done in November, and we need to get it done quickly. So um, something's got to happen real soon. Well, the, the 444 million is down to MOE, as I understand it. Is. It is, 2006. So, you th have, we, have you thought about applying for a waiver from the feds? Well, you know, and we were, and I am agreeable to do that, but from all our research and all the uh, communications that we have, we don't feel that it's a very likely likelihood that uh, that would happen. And you're not prepared to uh, risk just telling them where to sh shove it? Well, I know in the past when we've done things like that, sometimes we get sanctioned uh, very badly, and uh, I don't know if we want to take that risk. Do you think the governor might go to jail if, uh, if, if in fact, she violates that MOE? I, uh, I would hope not.